It might rattle his newspaper, turn a few heads, but you... You have to put things right in your own way. Playmaker um, went to Screen Australia and proposed, a, um, I guess, an experimental model which would allow three writers to spend two days a fortnight slowly de developing an idea and then would put us in touch with each of the, um, each of the networks and the commissioning um, bodies in each of those networks just to see if there was a good match of ideas and then um, if, each, if those projects got up, that the, the vision of Scribe was that each of the writers would then move into a producing, I guess a, a learner producer chair matched up with a more experienced producer and, and shepherd the, the, the project all the way through the process. So for a writer that's kind of, you know, a dream come true kind of ticket. I feel incredibly privileged to have had the chance to to make this story in this way, um, and I feel a, a really deep commitment um, to the idea that writers playing a central role in the process is it's not just a, um, a nicety. I think it's actually a necessity, and that breaking down the barriers between you know the production team and the development team. Um, it feels like everybody wins and that part of the um, privilege for me has been to ha work with a director who's so incredibly open to having me around, to cast who don't you know, get edgy that, that I'm around and that I think what it means is that every time there's a, an opportunity to workshop something in the moment and make it, make it sing the same song that's in the script, everybody wins. And so I feel like the more we can relax into this kind of model and not feel like there's any you know, treading on toes, that just the better the industry will be for it. It feels like the, the quality of television right around the world has really taken a massive leap forward in the last 10 years and the, with the kinds of stories that you're able to tell um, and again the kind of talent that it attracts both on and off screen um, kind of writers and the, the kind of directors and the kind of cast that are now seeing the quality of work that can be achieved on, on the small screen. So it's a really exciting time to be a screenwriter for television. Um, and yes, we had fantastic cast for season one and the great privilege for us is to be able to bring um, uh, Dan Spielman, Ashley Zuckerman and Adele Perovic back into season two and kind of furnish them with a, a, you know an excellent um, kind of support cast for, for the other roles in this season. We've had um, Anthony LaPaglia playing a, a big guest role, um, Sigrid Thornton, um, uh, Robin Malcolm, Andrew McFarlane, Ben Oxenbold, you know, the, the list is really, really strong. So, uh, and I think, I, I really do think it's the, the fact that we're able to tell such challenging stories that draw the, that calibre of cast back to TV. I really feel like storytelling now is um, is much more borderless than it used to be. First and foremost, the code was always a story which had a really Australian feel, and that, and we didn't dream from for a moment that it would travel so widely. Um, and I think in the last five years, more and more, there's a sense that if the story is true and it's human and it, and it's relevant, that it, that that the accent doesn't doesn't matter, um, and it, and that was the feedback again, uh, over and over as we travelled with the show was that um, the quality of the material, the way that it was delivered, the direction, the cinematography, the production design, it was at at an absolute equal with overseas product, and the story had an international flavour. It was as relevant if you were in in Sydney or in Finland. Um, so I guess going into season two, we we just felt we. 
we, we would just follow that same, same idea that the stories were human, that the issues were international. Yeah. And, we, and we just get the beauty of making it here in this fantastic location. Yeah.